Class 7 to you I, my name is Mrs Parkin and I would like to welcome you to Dormson School and to our new Form 7 to you I. First of all then a little bit about me. So as you can see from the picture I'm quite an old crumbly teacher. I've been at Dormson a very very long time. I've got two boys of my own who are now 15 and 16. So one is going into year 11 in September, the other one will be a sixth former. You will see my football allegiance there and also my Hogwarts house there. And you'll also see my Gryffindor mugs. I'm usually to be seen with a mug of tea attached to my arm. My job here at Dormston is head of French and you will see at the bottom left of the picture my favourite place in the world, which is a French beach. I'm also interested in sport and you can see there a picture of my mum and dad and my oldest son when I did the race at Himley a few years ago. I also love reading. You'll see my favourite book on the slide there. And my big project from lockdown was re researching my family history and I've since found out quite a lot of my family are from the local area. We would like to know a little bit more about you too. Please use the This Is Me sheet to tell us a little bit about yourselves. You can find a copy of it in this section of the website but you do not have to print it off. You could make up your own version of this if you prefer. Please have it ready to bring in ready for the first day back. This space is for your members of your family. That This includes your parents or guardians, brothers and sisters, and even space for pets. Originally, my parents are from East Pakistan, which is now Bangladesh. So my ethnic origin is Bangladeshi. special we do for year seven. There are seven activities, events and opportunities that we put on for you when you are in year seven. Some of these go on through the whole year and beyond, like reading, and others are one-off activities or events that we encourage you to participate in or to take advantage of. Number one, reading. Summer reading book has all possibly already been passed to your primary school and many of you will already have this. We have challenge activities, see the reading section of the induction website, we have reading lessons one lesson a fortnight and all of our pupils register with the PLC and Mrs Ellsmore is passionate about ensuring all pupils read for pleasure regularly. Number two, residential. We have various team building activities and we will be able to have further details of this in September as it does depend on what we can book post lockdown. Number three, aspirations and futures. We run lots of events that we hope help to inspire, inspire all of you. This includes our links with Oxford University and we will either run a trip out there or have Oxbridge people come in to us so you can get a flavour of what university life could be for you. However, we know that this won't appeal to all of you. So we also have future career events running throughout the school year where you will learn about the options for you once you have left school, such as apprenticeships and traineeships. This year we're also working with the co-op with a focus on fair trade and sustainability activity. Number four, character education. This enables all of you to really focus on your best character traits and be the kind of person you want to be. And we do this during our PSHE lessons in school. Number five, theatre trip. We are hoping to be able to take all of you to a theatre trip, either to the Rep Theatre in Birmingham or possibly going to watch a production in London. Number six. Community and charity. In Year 7 and as part of Trent House, we do try to raise money for our school charity, as well as carrying out activities like the Sedgwick Littipig to help out at our community. In Trent House this year and last year, our Year 11 leadership pupils made yellow ribbons for adolescent mental health and they sold those throughout the school community. Number 7 is extracurricular and into house. And in Year 7, we would like you to get as involved as you possibly can. We run a range of extracurricular activities and we will go through the list when you join us in September. Hopefully you'll all be involved in several activities after school. The aim is for all of us to enjoy having a go at something new as well as things you know you already enjoy. We run several in-house competitions throughout the year, some of which you can all get involved in, for example the rowing competition. Some of which you all can also opt for, such as the inter-house arts competition. And at the end of the year we also have our inter-house sports game. In this next stage of the PowerPoint, you will find out a little more about the school. Dormston's core values. Mr Dixon has already spoken to you about each of these. 
Reflect on the activities you have already done in your Be Awesome Go Big booklet and think about how these link to our core values. These activities can be found on our website. Our core values are really important to all of us and we should try to demonstrate these both in and outside of school whenever we get the chance. So, people who are here to help you when you arrive at us in September. Now, obviously is me, Mrs Parkin, I'm your form tutor. Mr Plant is our head of house, he's a drama teacher. And Mrs Brayshaw is our assistant head of house and she teaches PE. Mrs Bastan and Mr McLaughlin are the coordinators for Year 7. And at the moment you'll see we've got some vacancies there for Trent Head Boy and Girl and Deputy Head Boy and Head Girl because they haven't actually been told that they've got those jobs yet. I believe they will be having them in the next day or so. Okay, the school day. May, you may find this is a little bit different from what you are used to at primary school. You have five one-hour lessons a day and we run a two-week timetable. So every other week you will have a different timetable. You have break and you have lunch, but the times that you have these will be confirmed in December and it may depend on which year group you are in as to when that is in. We'll finalise that when you get here in September. At Dormiston, we expect all pupils to be prepared for success. This means that everyone has disruption-free learning and can learn to the best of their ability in each of their lessons. Prepare for success means that when you arrive in school into lessons, you are ready to learn, you are well organised, your behaviour is good, your effort is good, and you have the correct equipment for that lesson. It means that you support others to achieve success and that you don't prevent other people in the room from learning. And you ensure that you contribute to the learning environment being conducive to successful outcomes for everyone. It also means that you are successful in your appearance, which means that when you arrive with us, your uniform standards are always high and that they are always following our, our uniform code. Success for yourself means that you treat all staff and other students with respect, that you wear your uniform correctly and with pride, and that you put 100% effort into all that you do. Success around school and in the community means that you walk calmly and sensibly around school. No pushing or contact and that you use the correct stairwells around school. We do have a one-way system in use at the moment. You do not drop litter and you respect the school environment. In lessons it means that you are on time and teachers will meet and greet you at the door and that you are ready to learn with the correct equipment. You follow the instructions of the teachers you listen when others are speaking, whether that is the teacher or someone else in your class, and you keep off-task conversation for social times. You work in silence when you are asked to do so, and at the end of the lesson you wait until you are dismissed before you leave the room. Some school rules that you might need to be aware of then. If you bring a mobile phone to school, that must be taken to pupil reception before school and your equipment that you are expected to bring into school for yourself is a pen, a pencil, a ruler, a rubber, a sharpener, a calculator, your PE kit or specific equipment for the lessons that you have on that day, your reading book, student planner that you will be given on your first day in September and this is where you will record homework but it will also be on the school's Go For Schools homework platform. So what is Go For Schools then? Well, it's an online platform where you and your parents or guardians can access information about you, your education with regard to your timetable, your homework, behaviour records, so good and bad conduct, your attendance record to keep track of how much time you have been out in or out of school, target grades for each year and 24-7 access to information that the school might post. So it just remains now for me to say goodbye to the new 7TY form. I'm very much looking forward to meeting you. I'm very much looking forward to getting to know you and to being your form tutor. And I will see you all in September. Goodbye. <laughs>